This is a nice and quick video for anyone who's got an AIM solo and wants to know how to make sure that every time you get to the track, all you need to do is switch on the device and it'll recognize where you are and will load the track automatically. So to get this going, you're going to need to go to the AIM website. The link is down at the bottom in the box and you can uh, download something called GPS Manager. What this is going to do is going to give you a database on your device, your PC, um, of all of the tracks that are available that AIM knows about. And as a global company, they know of an awful lot uh, of tracks. So here it is, going to click on it and load it up. And what it's going to show on the left hand side as it loads, it's going to show all of the tracks that it has in its database. And you can see that on the left hand side. On the right hand side, you probably saw communicating with a device. You're going to need to make sure your solo is plugged in uh, via the USB cable and it is switched on. And then GPS Manager is going to talk to your solo and make sure that your tracks are all in the, uh, in the system that are there. So on the left hand side you've got AIM's global database of all the tracks that are available. On the right hand side you've got all the tracks that are available in your device. The more you have your tracks you, you run, the more tracks you should fill into your solo, which means that when you get to that track you don't have to rely on the please find start and stop as you go over start finish, which uh, sometimes is inaccurate and sometimes is a pain when you're driving at uh, quite a speed. And so um, it's a very simple process in terms of being able to use this is one of the uh, easiest of, uh, of AIM software to be able to work with. Uh, you've got all the tracks here, you notice Australia and everything is in here, great if you're in different countries, but I race in the United States and so what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to click on filter and I'm going to shorten this down and I'm going to bring this down and I say I want to be able to just see United States tracks, uh, I just want to be able to see tracks associated with automotive, not motorcycle or cart, I want to be able to see just uh, asphalt um, and I want to be able to see closed, I want, want ovals and I don't want point to point. This filters down the left on the list on the left hand side and now I can just see all the tracks that are available in the United States. Now on the right hand side you can see I've already got Oregon Raceway Park, I've already got Pacific Raceways and I've already got Portland in my, in my solo but there are other tracks that I race at and I want to be able to add so I can either scroll through the list and find them manually and there are a lot that are on here or for example if I wanted to say okay I live uh, on the east coast and I'm going to be racing in Lime Rock Park soon I can just type in that. I click on that track and then I just use the arrow on the right hand side to move the track from the database on my PC to my AIM solo. Now what will happen here is they're communicating with a device and now when I get to Lime Rock Park I just turn on my solo. It says I recognize based on your GPS location Lime Rock Park and it's ready to go. Now my advice and recommendation is that of all the tracks you go to you populate your solo with all of those. Because memory is a premium uh, on the solo itself uh, I would recommend you just use the tracks that you go to rather than filling it up with all the tracks that are in the database. This just saves you a little bit of space and so you don't run out of that critical data as you're lapping a track or you're on a race that ordinarily may be filled up with a lap or a track which you aren't planning on racing.